Hi, everybody. It's Diesel Mark Two, and I'm here to talk about things I like about Model Pony Friendship is Magic, including side characters, the main six, why I like the songs, and, of course, some of my favorite moments from the series itself. Now, of course, Season 9 I premiered a while back, and it saddened me. I really liked season, I liked T4. Uh, and, you know, I it, this was coming off T3.5, which I don't even want to talk about the atrocity of that. <laughs> mm. I, I, I don't say, I'm not saying I don't like T3.5, but let's be honest. The baby versions were ugly. Anyway, let's get off of that and get on to the subject at hand. So, here are my favorite things about the series. My favorite side characters that made more than one appearance, but only appeared once and then only appeared yet again in the series. In the later series, in the later episode, it's include. I'm even going to include. A certain character that I included and my favorite side characters. So, let's start off with my reason for like why I like the series. Now, I'm one of those guys that loves series that have has a moral. Now, not every episode had a moral, mind you. I mean, we had episodes like Slice of Life, where there wasn't an there wasn't a lesson to be learned. Or Lesson Zero, for example. You don't have to have an episode where you just learn a lesson. You just have an episode that's good. Yeah, I mean, yes, Lesson Zero did have a lesson. But it kind of didn't, in a way. But the reason why I like the, episode, the series... D4 is because they did drag out the episodes to make it make it the 30 minutes. They like unlike G1, there were episodes that were just drug out so long. For example, I'm gonna say this again. The 10 part episode of In the Flow Valley. That should not have been a 10-part episode. That should have been four parts, at least. But they had to keep dragging it on every single episode. Model Point Friendship is Magic actually didn't do that. They had only a few, only two parts of certain episodes. Again, they were moral sometimes. Sometimes it wasn't. Um, one of my favorite C C episodes that I mean, one of my favorite series of episodes were what I call the keys to friendship, where they're looking, where they're learning lessons about their basically the element, like ain't and they get the, a specific thing that would eventually unlock a unlock the test that was left behind when they returned the elements of harmony by the way spoiler i didn't want to, I, I, i'm sorry that was a spoiler you could skip ahead um but i think that Another thing I liked about the series is the music. I mean, there was some stinkers here and there, like the Super Squeezy Size 6000 song. Um, even though it's catchy, I don't like this Flam Flam Bonus, as I've told it said before. Um, let's see. I liked... I liked... I'll Fly, which was part of the episode of Rainbow Das, where she's trying to keep her pet 
with her. And I kind of like the episode because it hits home. You know, I didn't want to lose my pet either. I mean, yeah, she did lose her pet, but in no way she did. And then there were, uh, there were songs like the Kubrick Crusader theme. It's good, but I think they overdid the whole, oh, we're going to make it a joke song. We're not going to have to sing perfectly. But it's still a good song. Don't get me wrong. But the other the other thing that makes this series the series so good was it just the main six, which by the way are still good. They made the they made the character the episodes good. I mean we have the four princes the three princesses until Prize Parker became a princess. We had. Luna, we had Celestia, we had Cadence. They all three were good princesses. And of course, I can't include Twilight Sparkle because she's not a part, I mean, she is, but she isn't part of the main princesses. And again, I'm not saying I'm not, I hate it because I, I'm just saying that she's not technically one of the main princesses. She's one of the main six. And then we have characters like Craig Jewel Donkey, T. Sabbath, um, which, by the way, as I said before, is voiced by Will Al Yankovic. I don't like most of his songs. And I'm going to say right now that when I heard that he was going to be a brilliant part of an episode, I was like, oh, for crying out loud, did you have to include him? But boy, was I wrong. This, the episode fit perfectly. Um, then we have, I don't remember his name, the big dragon that we don't see again for a whole, I think, four seasons until Slice of Life. And he's basically the friends of Cranky Doodle. And then we have Cranky's girlfriend. We don't see her again. It's uh, Mulia, Mulia, Mulia. See, he's good. Um, and some people think, well, Mulia has been in more than... No, that was not Mulia. That was a different mule. And then we got to talk about the chefs in the episode, like um, Gustav and Donut Joe. And I don't remember the third gal. And then we got Pinkie Pie. Again, I'm not going to include her as part of it, but it's pretty cool. And then we have the Butters. We got Big Mac. We got... I'm not going to include Zephyr Priest because I still think he's the worst brother of the entire series. We got Signing Armor. I loved him. He was, he was funny. Even when he was part... I, mean, I liked him. Even when he was, you know, trying to defend his wife. And, you know, it wasn't his fault. He didn't realize he, he was a bad guy. And then we have... I guess I could say that the only character that I didn't but that actually I did like Big Mac. Big Mac was funny. You know when he was on screen he always went, Yep or but when it came down to where it really mattered, he actually spoke. For example, in the episode with the CMC are writing a column about for the for their newspaper. He actually speaks for Applejack. And then later on in Butterhood's Butterhood so so 
Well, so so, he actually spills out. He actually tells Apple Bloom why he did what he did. And then there's the episode where he's trying to win the love of our gal. Where he's trying to basically tell how much he loves her. And he sings a song. And I gotta say that I love the song that he sings. And it's a mix of country with pop. And it's a wonderful mix of both. And then we have all the songs on the main six. But it's the rest of them you know, singing apart from each other. Like, for example, um, So Many Wonders, so by uh, Younger Fletisai, or I'll Fly, sing by Rainbow Dash, trying to basically sabotage Winter. Or Winter Wrap Up, which is from season one. It's really good. I mean, it's, Every song they sing, whether it's a sad song or a whole ballad, it's awesome. Even Generosity, which is basically her feeling, you know, starting off happy and then eventually being sad because she basically drove her friends off. And then we have songs like The Goof Off or She's Laments. And not She's Laments, but She's, um, I don't remember. But he basically tells her, Big Bang, why he became the point he became. And then we have one of the biggest, or well, actually a few of them, Biggest ballads done by the princesses. For example, Celestia's ballad, which is basically her telling her, uh, Sparkle, that she is now going to be a princess. Spoiler alert. Or um, you'll play your part, which is an epic elegy of all four of them singing. And I gotta throw this one out because it is so epic. And I didn't even know this at the time, but this day is Aria, which is sang by the same voice actor, by the same person of both Cadence and Chrysalis. Same person. That is insane. And then we got one of my all time favorite songs, Smile. It, and it's just, it's, it's everything Pinkie Pie. You know, it's like the all time best song on my playlist. One of my favorite songs on my playlist. Or we got the songs from um, Crusaders of the Lost Mark, which basically is them singing every song, every about them getting their marks and they finally get them. And I'm not going to hate on it, but I kind of wish they could have done a little more with the Cutie Marks. But, and then and of course, we, and then I'm going to end off with one of my favorite songs, which, I mean, one of my favorite episodes, which has so all of my favorite songs, even though the uh, episode kind of wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. 
the Madrigal Mystery Cure, which has Life in Equestria, Morning in Ponyville. What Mercury Mark is telling me, I have to find a way. True to Fred, which always gets me choked up because how awesome this song, uh, the song is. And Celestia's Ballad, obviously. And then finally, my all time favorite song, Life in Equestria. So, anyway, and I'm not, I'm not going to include Equestria Girls, which kind of is um, an off kind of thing, but it's, it's, it's still good movies, but I'll talk about those eventually. Next time, we're going to talk about my favorite uh, video games. Wait, what? Uh, actually, no, we're going to talk about I don't know. We might talk about how I got into Minecraft. I'll see you guys on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys on the next video.